Hola mi bella gente, ¿cómo están? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm really excited because I am doing a sneak peek of Chill Hop's little mascot, <laughs> the raccoon. And I think he's so cute. So they recently had a draw with me, or I'm sorry, a draw this in your style challenge. And I don't know how many of you guys actually listen to Chill Hop and their music, but I'm a huge fan because they always make music that really gets me in the zone and helps me to focus on what I have to do. And I always feel super productive when I'm listening to them. So I was really happy when I saw that they were doing this challenge. It was basically a call to anybody who wanted to draw their little raccoon and you could win I think like a vinyl and some other cool prizes and it's basically just encouraging people to stay home right now that we are in this crazy like epidemic <laughs> but I loved doing this it was so much fun and I was really intimidated at first because usually with draw this in your style challenges I always see what other people create and it does kind of make me feel intimidated because people are so creative and they're so good at what they do. So I will oftentimes feel like, oh, I don't know if I actually have the skill to do this, but I challenge myself and I'm so happy I did because it turned out so cute and it was super fun. It was just something that I was able to let go of and let loose and just play with colors and also just try kind of like a new style because I feel like it's always good to branch out and see what else that you can create and see what other styles there are just experiment with everything um, that there is so yeah I really really enjoy doing this I was actually thinking about creating a patreon account because when I was doing my drawing or my sketches for the raccoon I really like how the line art turned out and I thought it would be so cool to offer it as like a coloring page so I thought that would be a cool kind of product of value that I could offer if I were to create a patreon so if you are interested in that like if you would be interested in supporting me and getting stuff like that um the coloring pages or stationery on a monthly basis um just leave me a comment in the comments below i think it would be super fun and such a cute idea for like building a community and also i really love that it would challenge me just to be creating stuff as often as I can, which would mean I would be practicing more and just getting better at my craft. So yeah, let me know if you would be interested. But for now, I am going to be offering the sketch or the line art as a coloring page for free. I'm going to have it down in the description box below and you can just download it um, and import it into whatever coloring program or software that you use and if you don't have that at home you can always just print it out and use colored pencils or markers or just get creative and color it in i feel like it would be super fun just to see like how people interpret this what colors they choose um and yeah it would just be like a really fun stay at home activity Something that I struggle with a lot as an artist is proportions and especially foreshortening. So drawing the feet was kind of a struggle for me. Um, I kept kind of like drawing them weird and not really sure like how the feet would be pointing out, but I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. I feel like you can kind of tell that most of his weight is on his right foot. So I wanted to go for that kind of like more realistic vibe because in the original drawing both of his feet are actually facing completely opposite of each other. 
So yeah, it was really cute. So it was actually really good practice for me. And I think this is the cool thing about all of these um, challenges of drawing different people's art in your style because there's so many people that are so creative and it's cool to see how people are coming up with characters and how they are changing little things like for example how they're posing or maybe the way their hands are placed on their face or even like their hair color you know a lot of times people will completely change it up and I think that's the really exciting part about this challenge is just seeing how far somebody can take it and and also just getting inspired from other people's art. I think it's so awesome to just be able to look at something and immediately feel super creative and wanting to create something amazing just by looking at somebody else's creation. And I hope that this encourages you to pick up a pencil and draw. If you're somebody that has been feeling like intimidated of creating something because nowadays it's so easy to look at Pinterest or Instagram and see everybody else's art and think immediately that your art isn't good enough or that you don't have the skills to create something wonderful or beautiful. I really feel like it's so important to overcome that and just do it anyways because now that I've pushed past that fear, I just feel so empowered now to just keep creating things and not worry so much about my abilities, if not instead focus my energy on like trying to get better than I was the day before, you know? I hope that this empowers you to pick up a pencil and start drawing if you always wanted to do that or even if it's like practicing an instrument you know you honestly never know how good you can get until you actually start doing it and that's something that I realized um, after picking up my apple pencil and drawing it's just really cool to see how like how much you can improve from the previous time that you did something and I think that's the main goal that you always want to focus on because it's really easy to always compare yourself to somebody else and think that somebody else is way way better than you but they also started where you were you know nobody is ever born being 100% good at something with time you are always going to improve on what you're doing and you'll be surprised at how far and how good you can get at something if you just let yourself get there you know and it's always really cool because you end up realizing cool things about yourself it's kind of a way of investing in you and learning about yourself and what you love and what you like to do um i recently found that i really love creating color palettes and this was something that I had so much fun doing with this little guy. Just like coming up with the colors and the mood I wanted to go for. So, yeah. Just let yourself enjoy what you're doing. And soon enough you'll realize that you have created something so beautiful and you'll be so proud of yourself. We are coming to an end to this video and I'm so happy I did this. I honestly had the best time doing this and I can't wait to make more drawings like this. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Adios!